In this video, I'll show you 11 crucial Android settings that you need to turn off immediately to boost your phone speed, increase your battery life, and seriously enhance your privacy. Ever feel like your phone is constantly lagging, the battery drains way too fast, or you're seeing eerily specific ads that seem targeted at things you do or say? These are often caused by default settings running in the background without your knowledge. Turning them off can make a huge difference. So, I wanted to dive deep and highlight essential tweaks that will lighten the load on your phone's processor for improved speed, significantly boost your battery life, and fortify your privacy. These are often overlooked, and I'll guide you through the exact steps to find and disable each one on your device. Hello, and welcome to TechBuzz 101, your go-to channel for optimizing your tech gadgets. Now let's get started on how to optimize your Android experience. Then the first setting we are going to tame is the location services to save battery and enhance your privacy. Location services use GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular data to pinpoint your phone's location for apps in the system. However, constant background tracking drains the battery by continuously scanning networks. It also creates a log of your movements, raising privacy concerns. Disabling unnecessary location access and background scanning saves battery and enhances privacy by limiting data collection. To do this, head over to your settings app. Scroll down and tap on location. First, tap on Wi-Fi scanning and toggle it off. This stops your phone from constantly searching for Wi-Fi networks even when Wi-Fi is off, thereby saving your battery. Go back to the location menu, tap on Bluetooth scanning and turn that off as well. Similar to Wi-Fi scanning, this prevents unnecessary battery drain. Next, tap on Google location history. Review the settings here. If you're not comfortable with Google tracking your every move, you can pause it or even choose to auto-delete your history after a certain period. The second is restricting background app data to save battery and protect your data. Many apps continue to use data in the background for updates and notifications. While convenient, this drains the battery and consumes mobile data, potentially leading to extra charges. Restricting background data for non-essential apps saves battery, reduces data usage, and gives you more control over your phone's resources, indirectly improving privacy. To stop them, go back to the main settings menu and tap on apps. Here, you'll see a list of all your apps. Tap on an app that you don't need constantly updating in the background, for example, a game you play occasionally. Tap on mobile data and Wi-Fi. Toggle the switch for background data to off. You can do this for multiple apps to significantly reduce data usage and improve battery life. Next is opting out of ads personalization for your privacy. Google tracks your activity, searches, websites, apps, YouTube, to create an interest profile for personalized ads. While intended to be relevant, many find this tracking intrusive. Turning off opt-out of ads personalization stops Google from using your personal data for targeted ads, enhancing your privacy and reducing the feeling of being tracked. You'll still see ads, but they'll be less specific to you. Here's how to opt out of personalized ads. From the main settings menu, tap on Google. Tap on Ads. Tap on Opt Out of Ads Personalization and Confirm. You'll still see ads, but they won't be as targeted based on your browsing and app usage. The fourth setting we'll be disabling is Nearby Device Scanning for Battery Life. Nearby Device Scanning constantly searches for connectable devices like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi Direct, etc. in the background, even when not in use. This continuous scanning drains battery life. Unless you frequently use nearby connection features, turning off this setting saves battery by stopping unnecessary background activity. Here are the steps to disable nearby device scanning. Go back to settings and tap on connections, or similar, like connected devices. Look for nearby device scanning and toggle it off. This prevents your phone from constantly searching for nearby devices to connect to. Next, let's explore limiting background processes for optimal performance. Android keeps recent apps running in the background for quick switching. However, too many background apps consume RAM and processing power, causing sluggishness, especially on lower RAM phones. 
Limiting the background process limit frees up resources, improving performance. Setting it too low might cause apps to reload more often. First, we need to enable developer options, which is a hidden menu in Android that provides access to advanced settings and tools for developers and power users. To do this, go to Settings, then tap About Phone, then Software Information. Tap on Build Number 7 times. You might need to enter your PIN. This will enable the developer options. Go back to the main settings menu, and you should now see developer options near the bottom. Tap on it. Scroll down until you find background process limit under the app section. Tap on it and consider setting it to at most three processes or at most four processes. This can help improve performance, especially on older devices. At number six, turning off usage and diagnostics for privacy and battery life. Usage and Diagnostics collects anonymous data on your phone's usage, performance, and battery to help Google improve Android. Some users have privacy concerns about this data collection. Turning it off prevents this data from being sent to Google, giving you more control and potentially saving a small amount of battery. To do this, go to Settings, then tap Google. Select Usage and Diagnostics. Toggle the switch off to stop sending anonymous data to Google. The seventh setting to look at is managing app permissions for privacy. App permissions allow apps to access your phone's features and data like camera, MIC, contacts, etc. While some are necessary, many apps ask for excessive permissions, posing privacy risks. Granting them allows data collection and potential sharing. Reviewing and revoking unnecessary permissions limits data access, enhancing your privacy and control over your information. Here's how to manage your app permissions. To do this, head over to Settings, then go to Apps. Tap on an app and then tap on Permissions. Review which permissions the app has, like camera, microphone, contacts, and location. Revoke permissions that don't seem necessary for the app's core functionality. For example, a simple calculator app likely doesn't need access to your contacts. Before we continue, if you're finding this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more tech tips. Now let's continue with the eighth, controlling install unknown apps for robust security. The install unknown app allows app installations from outside the Play Store. While sometimes useful for trusted sources, it greatly increases the risk of malware and security threats. Apps from unknown sources can steal data or damage your phone. Keeping this setting off prevents unauthorized installations and enhances security. Only enable it for trusted sources when needed and disable it afterward. To proceed, go to settings and search for or find install unknown apps. It might be under apps or special access. For most apps, ensure that the toggle is off. Only enable it for trusted sources if you absolutely need to install an app outside the Play Store. At number 9, disabling always active mobile data for extended battery life. Mobile data always active keeps mobile data running even on Wi-Fi for seamless switching. However, this drains the battery by maintaining two connections. Turning it off makes your phone primarily use Wi-Fi, saving battery. It will still switch to mobile data when Wi-Fi is unavailable but without the constant dual connection. To begin, go to Settings, then System, and tap Developer Options, since it's been already activated. Scroll down and find Mobile Data Always Active and toggle it off. This can save battery by preventing your phone from keeping the mobile data connection active even when you're on Wi-Fi. At number 10, let's explore adjusting lock screen notifications for your privacy. Android often shows notification content on the lock screen for quick viewing. However, this can compromise your privacy as anyone can read them without unlocking your phone. Adjusting settings to hide content shows you have a notification, but hides details or don't show notifications at all prevents others from seeing your messages and enhances your personal privacy. To do this, go to Settings, then Notifications, and tap Lock Screen. Choose either hide content or don't show notifications at all for increased privacy on your lock screen. The eleventh and last setting to adjust is reviewing default apps for enhanced security and privacy. 
your phone has default apps for tasks like browsing, calls, and messaging. These apps often have significant data access. If a malicious app becomes a default, it could access sensitive info. Reviewing your default apps ensures you're using trusted applications, reducing the risk of unknowingly granting excessive permissions to untrustworthy apps, thus enhancing your security and privacy. Regularly check these settings. To do this, go to Settings, then Apps, and tap Default Apps. Review the default apps for things like browser, phone app, etc. Ensure they are apps you trust and are comfortable with having as defaults. What do you think about these essential Android settings? Are you excited about the improved speed, battery life, and enhanced privacy you can now enjoy? Let us know in the comments below which of these settings made the biggest difference for you. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to TechBuzz 101, and hit the bell icon for instant updates on the latest tech breakthroughs and guides. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.